For those of you who follow us on Facebook and Instagram during our epic Cross Canada trip this summer, you'll be happy to hear that we'll be launching those videos soon. Before we head out across our great country though, we want to actually show you some cool places of my hometown, beautiful Vancouver. This week, we want to share with you what Vancouver is like from the water. We are blessed to be in a city where nature is all around us in a form of mountains and ocean. Most tourists come here to see the typical urban city or mountain experiences. But let me tell you as a local, there's no better way to appreciate the city than seeing it from the water. I'm Janie and I'm Eric and today we're out in a beautiful Vancouver ocean water if you are visiting this town once you've done all of the regular stuff like Stanley Park and Capilano stuff like that do something different one of the very cool things about Vancouver is that we've got mountain we've got ocean we've got everything and it's a completely different experience if you're on the water in Vancouver experiencing something like this so you can definitely do that. There's many places that you can rent boats and just spend a day, a half a day on the water. And we'll put some links to places that you can rent in our description. So go check it out. Definitely. And summertime in Vancouver is the perfect season to enjoy your vacation on the water. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click on our subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and leave us any comments of what you like about this video or what you've been doing in Vancouver. Come check us out. Here are some boat rental places in the city center that you can rent from. Gold Star Marina Boat Rental is in Olympic Village right across from BC Place. They are 4.9 stars in Google Reveal and have pontoons, speedboats, and even jet skis for rent. If you're looking for something right in downtown, then the closest one would be Coal Harbor Rentals. They have a 4.8 star rating on Google reviews, but only have small motorboats to rent. If you're not in the downtown core, then you can go to Granville Island Boat Rentals. They are 4.1 stars from Google reviews and like Coal Harbor Rentals, they only have small motorboats to rent. If you're in Granville Island and want a different boating experience, then you can check out Joe's Barbecue Boat. Get a bunch of friends, grab some barbecue, food and drinks, and go out in one of their round boats and check out the urban city from the water. These boats are not meant to be fast, so it won't be for you if you're looking for speed. But if you're looking for something leisurely and social to do, then this just may be it. Now on the other end of the scale from Joe's barbecue boats are luxury yacht charters, like this one. 
This is a great idea if you have a bigger group and want to experience that luxury lifestyle. There are a handful of charter companies in town offering all different types of boats and different sizes. So do your research and find one that suits you. I'll put some in the link in the description below so you can check it out. We went to Blackfish Marina and they had a package that we could charter the whole yacht with a captain and an assistant. They would take us out to Gabriela Island for the weekend on a fishing excursion. Included is a stay at a private lodge on the island on a beautiful acreage. They would take you around to some fishing spots during the day and then you'd barbecue and enjoy the seafood afterwards. It's great for family gatherings. Very chill. Oh, I love that rock skate. Yeah. I still honestly think that this is supposed to be a hotel. Because there's like a hotel room later. I'll show you. Okay, so next one is like sitting. Oh, I like it. And a baby chair in case you need it. It's very Look okay, at where's the jacuzzi? Has, Let's see. It's not that big, but yeah. Oh, yes. And then it also has another great view when you wake up. Our overall experience of Blackfish Marina though was so-so. The yacht was very nice, but I would say that the lodge that we stayed at was not great. I love the setting on the acreage, but the building was not maintained well. The first night we were there, we did not even have hot water to use. Uh, they had to call someone to maintain that. And then the barbecue and cooking equipment was dirty and wasn't well maintained. But overall, I still enjoyed the experience and I would still recommend that you do a boating trip uh, to, if you want that experience. Vancouver from the water is a completely different vantage point. What I would do though is research into possibly another company and compare. But yes, definitely take a trip on the boat. Must do. We hope you enjoyed this video and that it gave you inspiration to see Vancouver from the water. If you did, please support us by clicking on the subscribe button down below and we can then bring you more videos like these. Also, if you're subscribed, then you will be notified when we release the videos of our epic cross Canada trip, which you do not want to miss. Hi, it's Eric and Janie from Chasing the Sun. Okay. What are you going to say? Which part are you going to say? Just keep it rolling. I'll, I'll cut it. Say, welcome okay. to Chasing the Sun. You do welcome. I'll talk about it. Uh, okay. And then you go and just add whatever bits you want. Okay. Welcome back to Chasing the Sun. I'm Janie. And I'm Eric. And today we're out in a beautiful Vancouver ocean water. Ocean water. I don't know. <laughs> Just it is ocean water. It is ocean water. What do you think this is? What is this? Not lake? <laughs> Keep your camera still. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. On on the water, on the ocean. Who cares? We're Bob. <laughs> Who gives a crap? <laughs> on the water, in the water, between the water, you're in the water. <laughs> She's hired as a director. Okay, roll it. I am rolling. Okay, You're gonna rolling. edit. Oh, yeah. Keep going. going. Don't interrupt her. Let her go with the flow. It's a fobby. That's why it makes it so genuine and authentic because it's not perfect. Okay, okay go. I told you to put her on the set, not me. <laughs> no, this is why it's perfect. 
Yeah, roll it. I am rolling! <laughs>